Hello, HD underclassmen. You are all getting an email or have already gotten an email that says 4YP. It might say other things too because sophomores and juniors got ASVAB results along with them. Freshmen, you just got your four year plan for FY, four year plan. Here's what we need you to do with this. If we had had advisory this week, you would have been doing this Thursday and Friday during advisory and next week, Monday and Tuesday. But instead, we are home. We still need to think about what classes we want to take next fall. And now, in the comfort of your home, you have time to do that. So your email that you got says this is a copy, a summary copy of your four-year plan. That's this attachment right down here. Sorry, Jace, yours just happened to be the one the test message sent, so I get to use yours. It Then uh, it says, notice I've highlighted your career cluster. So we're just going to click on his. His career cluster is right here, education and training. That is his current, cur current blah, 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 career cluster. Yes, you all might change your mind through high school multiple times, as a matter of fact. But at the moment, that's your current cluster. You're going to use your career cluster and this link that I've also got attached down here to think about the courses that you might like to take next year. So, Jace's said education and training. I'm going to go to that career cluster electives options. And here's how you use that. Each page has a title on it, and you're going to go looking for the page that fits your cluster. There are only 16 clusters. So we've got agriculture, food, and natural resources, architecture and construction, arts, AV, technology, and communication, business management, education and training. Poof, that's the one we want. I could keep scrolling, but I don't want to make the video too long. Here's what I want you to do at the page that's yours. Over on the left, these co this column are all the electives at HDHS that you really, really should think about taking before you graduate from high school for your particular career cluster. If you have time and room in your schedule, here are other electives that would be helpful for you in your career cluster. If you are eligible, people who are proficient on MAP or Iowa assessment in math, reading, and science. Sorry, that's the state law. We can't do anything about it. If you are eligible and can take NIAC courses, these are the courses that you should seriously think about taking for this career cluster. Let me explain because a couple of them are written a little unique. See how this one says at HDHS? It's a NIAC class, but it's taught by someone right here in school. If it doesn't say at HDHS, that means it's an online course that you would take independently on your own. We offer an online course room every hour and everyone who's working on an online course works in that room to kind of help and support each other. So one more time, you're looking at that email, you're opening up your career summary. I got this from your four-year plans. You're looking at your career cluster and then you're using that link to go open the career cluster electives options scrolling until you find your career cluster. Yes, they are in alphabetical order. And then I just want you to start investigating and thinking about, okay, so these are the electives I really need to take before I graduate. Which one or two do I want to take next year? Or three, depending on how much room you have in your schedule. These are electives that if I have room, I should also consider which one of these might I look at? And if I'm eligible, which NIAC classes could I start taking? 
By the way, you'll also see a little link down here. If you are got a career cluster but you're just not sure what job you want, this will take you to a list of all the jobs that we have in this world, at least at this moment. There it is. Come here, list. And it gives you a list of all the possible jobs you could do inside each career cluster. So there's a little career exploration for you. Mostly, seriously want you to be thinking about what do you want to be taken next year? Start those thoughts. More information to come later. Hope you are all doing well.